Hi everyone, Neil here and the lovely. Hello, Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say my name. I'm busy looking at the <laughs> camera. Lovely Wendy, back again. Today we're gonna give you our top 10 and the top 10, probably because there's only 10, so we're gonna call it the top 10, <laughs> accessories that you can get for the Breville Barista Express. Uh, some of them will be useful for the Breville Barista Express Impress, which is the brand new 2022 model, which is this guy here. There's videos up here on that one. Uh, you can have a look at that. It's kind of a newer version of the Brist Express. But if you have the Brist Express, or you're gonna buy a gift for someone, Brist Express, these are great things. top 10 tools. And mm. wait till number one, I think it's very cool. Yeah. So, so awesome. I'm gonna hand them to Wendy. Wendy's the expert. So called. I don't know <laughs> Breville the way Wendy knows Breville. But we have a 53.3 millimeter distribu distributor and tamper. Right. So why don't you tell the folks at home, the lovely what folks at home, this? what we do with this? So uh, once you put it in your hand, you, it's pretty hefty. It is a tamper on one side, and it's also going to make it level. And it's a distribution tool on the top, which spins everything out, makes it nice and even. And once it's uh, distributed across the top of the basket, then you put it down and it does a nice even tamp so the water doesn't hit the part that's closest to you first and create um, an inconsistent pour. Yeah. yeah. So then it's pretty handy. So it gives you a better espresso overall, right? Right. Yeah, for sure. Well, and evenly distributed, so you don't have the channeling. The crema products that we offer uh, are made specifically for the Brista Express. Uh, if you were traditionally ordering a 54 millimeter, these ones do say 53.3 uh, on the side, and that is correct. Yeah. These are hard to get. This uh, this company, Crema, has designed stuff specifically for this machine, the, the Breville, or also known as Sage Barista Express. Right. Um, so they're designed for the, the particular size portafilter because as some as you some of you may or may not know, these come in different sizes. Right. So, okay, mm -hmm. so that's number one. So we'll get that out of the way. Right. Pretty handy to have. Mm -hmm. And we'll slide that over there. All right. Off you go. Okay. Number two on our list is the 54 millimeter dosing funnel. And this is designed again specifically for the uh, portafilter for the Barista Express. So it just goes on top like that. And this is for when you're when you're grinding, right? Right, yeah. So if the, for those of you who've experienced the mess and don't want to have to push it forward once it's in your portafilter, you can hold it underneath and hit the single or double uh, filter size depending on what basket you have in. All of the coffee will flow in and then you just tamp it, yep. take this off, and it'll be nice and even. So, but it doesn't go and sit no. in? No. It doesn't fit into this? No, it partner. doesn't. No, this one does not fit in. Because okay. um, right at the back here catches this notch okay. to turn it on and off. So stay tuned until the end because we, we do have a solution for this. Um, yep. But yeah, that's an interesting little, and again, it's it's pretty solidly built. It's not plastic. It's yeah, nice sand, metal. It's kind of nice. Okay, that's nice number, number two. Okay, number three, and this is something that we can't really demonstrate, but it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, this is actually pretty new, and this is the wheel set right. for, for the Brist Express. Now, what this is for is tiny little wheels. I don't know if you can see that. So these go in the back of the machine, and the idea is if your machine has upper cabinets above it, right. and you need to pull the machine out to fill up the hopper mm -hmm. um, or the water tank, you just will have to tilt the front up and pull, and these little wheels will help with the rolling. Neat idea, actually. Don't know if it'll work on the um, Impress. Haven't looked yet, but it might. We'll have to check that out. Yeah. But it, it is designed for the Barista Express, the original Barista yeah. Express. So. so mine's just sitting on my counter and I put felt under, but this, you wouldn't have to do that. That's so I just neat. pull mine around. Oh. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, wait, got to put that back in there. Yeah, we will do. If you don't mind. No. Nope. All right, so next up we have the WDT tool. <laughs> and we actually have to pause because we had to put it together, and hopefully you can zoom in on that. Maybe I'll try to give it a black background. You can kind of see what the top is there. Uh, you have to put it together, and we have 50-year-old eyes or so. Plus. What? <laughs> Plus. So, so don't give this to the seniors. <laughs> if you're part of AARP, this is harder to put together because you got to get these tiny little needles through these tiny little holes. But anyway, um, let's talk about what this does, Wendy. It's a declumper. A declumper. Yeah. Distribution okay, so what does a declumper do? So if this was uh, fresh ground, uh, fresh grounds that just came out. You'd want to just move it around to make sure it's nice and even and there's no clumps before you actually tamp it down. Before you tamp it down. Okay. Before you tamp it down. So it just breaks up any clumps that might come out. Sometimes uh, different textures of beans clump, clump it together and it lets, okay. it lets the flow of the coffee go through better. Alrighty. So we won't take that apart. Yeah, well. It does come with two sets of these little wires in case, in case you, lose, you one. lose one or, yeah. yeah. That makes sense, okay. Yeah. Um, 
Number five, and this isn't really the big deal, but it's a basically another filter basket. Right. So you can buy additional filter baskets for mm -hmm. your Brace Express. And this is a, this is a two cup. Yeah, yep. two cup single wall. Um, you can tell because there's lots of holes on the opposite side. Sometimes if you get a, you get a build up um, and you haven't descaled or you don't think your water is coming through properly, you can buy a replacement basket or if somebody throws it out by accident. Yeah. So yeah. always available. Mm -hmm. This one's made by Crema, but Breville does have one as well. They do. Yeah, Breville yes. has their own. Okay. We're on to number six. Now, number six will avoid your warranty because you do have to do quite a bit of work to make this happen. Right. But it is a fancy schmancy steam lever in brushed stainless. Mm -hmm. So, if you're the type of guy, girl, person, that doesn't like to do this with your little knobby doohickey, you can put on this knobby doohickey and have a lever. Yes. It basically replaces it, goes inside. That makes it look a little nicer, and it's pretty heavy. It's a solid, solid steel product. Uh, but again, will avoid your warranty, and uh, there's some work involved in doing this, but it does up the, the game on this machine. It does. It does make it look um, pretty nice. Yeah, instead of having to turn, you just need to push yeah. the lever down, which some people are used to from their espresso machines. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, number seven, and I didn't quite understand this one until you explained it to me, is the 54 millimeter dosing cup with tap. You can tell me what you use this for. This is for that person, I think, that really likes to play with their coffee. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If you want to try different uh, types of coffee and don't want to fill your hopper, you can actually tear your beans on the scale. So you would put in the amount you want and then that's what would come out. Or you can keep your hopper filled, uh, uh, dose right into here, and then you know how much you have once you get onto the scale. You can keep checking and then come back, get a little more and then keep checking so you don't have to worry about the inconsistency of putting something like this on a scale yeah, can have you all over the place because yeah. the distribution from the handle, but this will be exact. So this is for someone that really wants to take coffee to the yeah. next level. And, yeah, because yeah. some people don't want to fill their hopper all the way up and they want to keep their beans fresh in their one of their airtight containers. Already. That's who that's for. Okay, that's yeah. Cool. Kind of handy. Mm -hmm. We got number eight. Great number eight. Right. So this is kind of a nice, nice little addition, and, and it comes in a different couple of different colors. Mm -hmm. But these are very fancy bottomless porta filters with mm -hmm. uh, different types of wood. Um, so yeah, let's talk about this. So A, you get a beautiful looking handle, and B, you can see at the bottom here, there's no spouts. If we look here. And what is the advantage of that, Wendy? So. If, <laughs> So the advantage to this one, uh, particularly for this machine, is you can see if you have an, ev an even tamp. So if you've done your distribution and now you're uh, with your WDT tool and you've tamped down, once it is in the machine and starts flowing through, you'll, if you see it coming out of the bottom of the bottomless port of filter uh, evenly, you'll know you have a good tamp and you have a good distribution. You see, it's, it's kind of those sexy videos you see on the Instagram and right. TikTok with the coffee coming they, out. They always they're show always it. Using, they're yeah, they're always using a bottomless port of filter. Bottomless so, yeah. filter. Uh, nice product, aftermarket mm -hmm. product. Again, Beautiful. for taking the, you know, your first express to the next level. Right. All right, so I think we're at number nine. And number nine comes in a few forms. Right. Uh, we carry a few, but I'm gonna kind of bring them all over here. Number nine, okay, so basically tamping mats. Mm -hmm. um, we carry a few. This Crema one, again, Crema makes products for Crema. the Burst Express. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting, because it helps with keeping things clean. I'll show you how that goes on there. So if you didn't want to put your tamping mat um, on the counter permanently, so with this machine, you would take it off, tamp, and then put it back on. When it's done. Sorry, when it's other way. Other way. I did have it right. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Way. So that I sits on sits on your machine, mm -hmm. and then when you want to tamp, just pull it forward. So, but it also has the whole pre-cut out for the drip tray. Right. So you won't have to worry about where's my steam going to go. It would yeah. come right out. It's kind of neat. neat. Yeah. yeah. And it's designed specifically for the Brist Express. We have other tamping mats um, that we bring in. So this is like a, a corner one. That's by, actually pretty. By Joe Frax. That's cork mm -hmm. um, for your for your tamping. A cork tamping mat, and then we've also got. A couple other ones, might as well show them all while we're here. Right. Because they'll, I mean, these are for any machine at this point. This is the one I have at home. This one you have at home? Yeah. The corner one. Mm -hmm. You don't want to scratch your counter, right? No, I like it. I so have it all So this is just your, your basically, you know? Yeah. On here, tamping, it's rubber. So, won't get any issues. Yeah. And then you've got the corner one, which basically just hangs off the corner. Like so. There yeah. you go. So there you go. And then uh, you can either put that there or some people tamp here and then put their tampa there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah neat little accessories. Um, yeah, so that's number nine, is tamping mats. But then number 10, 
Actually, <laughs> the funny thing is, number 10 and our favorite thing for this machine is actually created by Breville. Woohoo! I know! Dun, 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 dun. For those that don't like the mess, we have the Breville dosing funnel. Now, you remember earlier we showed you that stainless steel one um, that didn't quite fit into where you put your portafilter filter in for the, with, with the grinder. But this guy does. Let's show you how it works. Open this guy up. I'm excited that it's finally here because uh, we use it every day at home. I yeah, love it. Yeah. You know it's, it's, it's actually really smart. This one's made of plastic. Right. But why don't we show them how it works. So you take your portafilter. filter. Yeah. In fact, if you can get that in you know, these little notches here, you put it on and you just twist yeah. it on. So now it's sitting on there. So now you can hear it's clicked on. And why don't we I should use it yeah. and we'll make a grind. This is our favorite tool. This is very, very neat. Okay, so now we pop it in and we're gonna grind like we normally do. So you put it here and it it sits, not like the last one. Yeah, as fits. soon as you hit the go button, it drops it in. So the grinds are not gonna end up all over the place on oh, the yeah. side of the machine. Right. It's fantastic. And it also acts as a guide for when you're tamping as well. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Oh. So right. then you've got a guide to it, it helps you with your tamping so you can be a little more even. And the idea was not to make a mess. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up making a mess, but oh, we were just I did. Doing stuff. That's right. I just so. flying around. Then you take it off for when you actually want to brew. Right. Yeah, you have to take you it take off. You take it so. off and then you put it in the brew yeah. head. Yeah, you would have neat. Um, this head. one's made of plastic, but um, right. yeah, it's actually a very, very neat tool that Breville has. So it sits on the top of uh, our machine. We use it all the time. Yeah, yeah and you know, as we said earlier, Breville seems to be upping their game in everything they do when it comes to coffee and espresso. They've really done a good job of looking for. Um, Little things that are going to make the home barista experience easier. Uh, again, this is designed for the Barista Express. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do want to watch our video on the new Barista Express Impress, Press. which is this guy here, some of these uh, tools will be needed, some won't, because this takes a lot of all of this out of the equation right. um, in their new model. So have a look out for that video. Available in Canada, probably available elsewhere in the world, not quite sure, because we don't follow the rest of the world, but uh, it could be under the Breville or the Sage name. And uh, these are Crema products, and this is a Breville product. Mm -hmm. um, Crema is out of the US, I believe. Uh, amazing products, uh, really smartly thought and well designed. Yes. You think so? Uh, oh, yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, available at our stores in Burlington, Lancaster, Ontario, or online across Canada at ecscoffee.com. Yes. And uh, you want to come by and see the lovely Wendy in the store? I'll be here. Feel free. I'm sometimes here, yeah. usually here. Um, sometimes in the office. Feel happy to do a comparison for you if you come yeah. on in. Yeah. You come on in, play with the machines, have a coffee, and uh, hope we make you a happy customer. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you want to give us a like and a subscribe, we'd appreciate it. We'll bring you more content, including the Breville 22 tire lineup. Take care. Bye.